Time travel is a popular topic, and the idea that we might be able to visit the past or the future keeps fascinating scientists just as much as the public. Over the years there have been many claims of time travel, so in this video we take a look at some objects that could prove time travel exists. The Madonna of Saint Giovannino was painted in the 15th century. It's one of many paintings that alien theorists believe shows an extraterrestrial object, and has become one of the most famous unexplained images of all time. While the focus of the picture is on Mary, something unidentified hovers above her left shoulder. There's an object that appears to be some sort of UFO hovering above the cliffs. A man standing in the background of his dog also appears to be looking up at the UFO. While many have attributed this to aliens, and have suggested it proves aliens have visited our planet, others have put forward the idea of it being time travel. Some think we're not seeing aliens, but actually ourselves from the future and these crafts are actually time machines. What do you guys make of this theory? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Some have claimed this painting was created sometime in the 1800s, and shows what looks like a man holding a CD box. The first commercial compact disc was produced on the 17th of August 1982. After their commercial release in 1982, compact discs and their players were extremely popular. Some have said that because CDs were not invented until way after this painting, it could only point to one thing, time travel. They suggest the person has slipped through time and brought with them a CD box, However, others have argued why someone from the future would bring back a CD box. The most logical explanation is that it shows an object that's being misinterpreted. There's some people out there that believe celebrities have time travelled. They point to the numerous photos that appear to show them during a different era. One person said the following, Okay, I know this sounds outlandish, but hear me out. I think these celebrities time travel as a hobby. I think they're able to go back in time and do whatever they please. This is why you see so many of them in old pictures. They travel back to the date they want to and stay there for a while. This is why some celebrities disappear for a short while, only to come back. You see it all the time. Actors will take a break and then become really famous again. This is because they're time traveling in their spare time. Of course, there is no proof of this theory. People point to look like pictures when they talk about this theory. However, that's what most people believe we're seeing. Lookalikes and nothing more. The ocean is an incredibly vast place. To date, we've explored less than 5% of the ocean. The ocean keeps the Earth alive and covers more than 70% of the planet's surface. The average depth of the ocean is around 12,100 feet. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep, and is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep is approximately 36,200 feet deep. So with this knowledge we should keep an open mind about what could be laying at the bottom of the sea. The Baltic Sea Anomaly is a 60 meter diameter circular rock-like formation on the ocean floor, located in the Northern Baltic Sea. It was discovered by Peter Lindbergh and Dennis Asberg, and the Swedish Ocean X diving team in June 2011. The discovery was made on the 19th of June, during a dive in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland, while searching for an old shipwreck. The group describes themselves as treasure hunters, and salvage operators who specialise in underwater searches for historic artefacts. According to Ocean X, the formation has an appearance of rough granite, and is 3 to 4 meters thick and approximately 60 meters in diameter. The anomaly stands on an 8 meter tall pillar like feature, and is located at a depth of 85 to 90 meters. During one of the expeditions, it was reported that divers exploring the anomaly said their equipment stopped working as they approached it. Professional diver Stefan Hoggerborn said the following Anything electric out there and the satellite phones as well stopped working when we were above the object. When we got about 200 meters away it turned on again, and when we got back over the object it didn't work. Those who believe this to be a UFO have said this is a common case of UFO interference. 
UFOs have been notorious for stopping automobiles at close range. These effects are not limited to automobiles, but occur with all kinds of vehicles that are powered by internal combustion engines. Incidents of engine interferences or failure have been reported for aircraft, motorcycles, trucks, buses and other farm machinery. In all cases, the engine ran normally after the UFO had departed. The OceanX team reported on their second expedition they found something that looked like a staircase, and a round black hole that goes directly into the structure. The mystery surrounding the unknown object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea deepened when geologist Steve Weiner said that according to his tests, the object was not a geological formation, suggesting that the structure was in fact made from metals which nature could not reproduce itself. The two divers had never witnessed such an incredible spectacle in over 20 years of underwater research. They compared the size of the object as being similar in length to a passenger plane. It was also mentioned by the divers that the trail leading towards the unknown object kind of suggests there was some sort of possible crash that happened here, and this thing had somehow skidded along the sea floor. Outside of the object on the surface, the researchers have also reported seeing unusual carvings, almost like unnatural looking shapes. The wreckage sits at a depth of 90 meters, and the waters in the area are always muddy, factors that make it virtually impossible to film or photograph the site. However, some believe the object to be a man-made ship or turret. Some have suggested the Baltic Sea anomaly could be a time machine, stating that someone traveled back in time but accidentally crashed their ship. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Nikola Tesla was a brilliant inventor who spent most of his career in the USA. He was an electrical engineer, and produced works which explored the idea of radio and wireless transmissions. Nikola Tesla was conducting research in 1895, and this was when he got his first indication that space and time might be influenced by using a highly magnetic field. A part of the admission had come from Tesla experimenting with radio frequencies, along with power transmission through the Earth's atmosphere. The discovery would many years later lead to the alleged Philadelphia experiment, along with time travel programs. However, a long time before the military programs were even thought about, Tesla had already made some discoveries that were fascinating in regards to nature of time, and the possibilities of being able to travel through time. Allegedly, the very first experience that Tesla had traveling in time occurred in March 1895. A New York reporter wrote that he found the inventor sitting in a cab, after he'd just been hit with 3.5 million volts of electricity. The reporter said that Tesla had told him that it would not be a very pleasant company to be around, due to the fact he'd been hit with this many volts. He went on to say that a three-foot spark had jumped into the air, and hit him on the shoulder. Tesla went on to tell the reporter that when he was in contact with the Renaissance from the electromagnetic charge, he had found that he went out of his space and time window. He said that he'd been able to see the past, the present and the future at the very same time. He admitted that he'd been paralyzed in the electromagnetic field, and so had been unable to help himself. It's been suggested this technology was used on the Philadelphia experiment. The object was to render the ship invisible by wrapping it in thick cables, through which a high frequency signal from a system of generators and Tesla coils was induced. The results were disastrous. When activated, the ship generated a green fog, and disappeared from Philadelphia, reappearing in Norfolk Harbor 24 hours later. However, as with many time travel stories, there is no evidence that he did any sort of time travel. A top lawyer who hopes to be the next US president has claimed he once traveled to Mars. This was part of a secret program that he says involved Barack Obama. Andrew Bissago, a lawyer who stood as an independent candidate for the US presidential election in 2016, has indicated he will contest the next one from 2020. However, recently he's become more known for his recent claims. He states that as a child in the 1960s, he took part in an alleged CIA program called Project Pegasus, in which he traveled through space and time. Mr. Basiago, who claims time travel has been possible since then, said during his college years in the 1980s he took part in another project, the Mars Jump Room program, which was part of an alleged secret program to send people to Mars. 
This has caught the attention of conspiracy theorists who believe that billions of dollars each year are mysteriously moved from the US Pentagon budget to fund so-called black space projects. They allege that these projects help humans travel deeper into space and discover things that most of us wouldn't believe. Mr. Basiago said the following, I was shown that in a ravine west of the home place in the Gustav Crater on Mars, there was a mass grave of several hundred humanoid bodies, both male and females clothed in blue uniforms, so I would urge objectified open-mindedness. It's a crazy concept to believe it's not just earthlings who have been kidnapped here, but there might be children who have been placed there. The fact there was this ravine full of bodies that could have been an open-air cemetery, a place of ritual human sacrifice or some genocide killing field has been in the public domain now for 10 years, but has largely been ignored. I think we're too easy to indulge in the giggle factor when those type of facts surface. In 2008, he submitted the scientific paper which claimed to prove there was an array of creatures and humanoids living on Mars. This was submitted to the National Geographic Society, but they declined on grounds Mr. Basiago was experiencing pareidolia. He has spent hours looking at images taken by the NASA Spirit and Curiosity rovers on Mars and felt he spotted living things NASA had overlooked. However, pareidolia is when the brain tricks the eyes into seeing familiar objects or shapes and textures or patterns such as clouds or rock surfaces. Of course, scientists and NASA dismiss the theory that there are aliens on Mars. Making these incredible claims is fine, but you have to back them up with proof. Showing us an image on a planet 33.9 million miles away doesn't mean it's an alien. So what do you guys make of these claims? Do you think that time travel is possible? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.